Let us pray. Father, we want to thank you for another beautiful time in your presence. We ask that, Lord, within these few minutes, you will have a good fellowship with us. And it will be a fellowship that will bless our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Today, as you have known, is um, Tuesday, but in the Holy Week, it is the third day. And we continue where we stopped yesterday, Matthew chapter 21. We'll go from verse 23. Even though the story, this third day, is recorded, from Matthew 21, 23, down to Matthew chapter 24, verse 51. But we just spend a few minutes within the uh, Matthew 21, but you can read it down to verse 51 of chapter 24. Uh, then I pray that you'll be able to pick some good lessons. Matthew 21, 23. And when he was coming to the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people came unto him as he was teaching and said, By what authority dwells thou these things? And who gave you this authority? And Jesus answered and said to him, I will also ask you one thing, which if you tell me, I in likewise will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, when was it? From heaven of men, and they received with themselves, saying, If we shall say from heaven, if we say to us, Why did ye not then believe him? But if we shall say of men, we fear the people, for all hold John as a prophet. And the answer Jesus has said, we cannot tell. And he said to them, Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. But what think ye? A certain man had two sons, and he came to the first and said, Son, go walk today in my vineyard. He answered and said, I will not. But afterwards he repented and went. And he came to the second and said likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir, and went not. Whither of them twain did the will of his father? They said unto him, The first. Jesus said to them, Verily I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and ye believed him not. But the publicans and the harlots believed him. And ye, when ye had seen it, repented not afterwards that ye might believe him. Here another parable. There was a certain householder which planted a vineyard and hedged it around about and digged a wine press in it and built a tower and let it out to the husbandmen and went into a far country. And when the time of the fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the husbandmen that they might receive the fruits of it. And the husbandmen took his servants and beat one, killed another, and stoned another. And again he sent another servants more than the first. And they did unto them likewise. But last of all he sent unto them his son, saying, They will reverence my son. But when the husbandmen saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and let us seize on his inheritance. And they caught him and cast him out of the vineyard and slew him. When the Lord therefore of the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto these, those husbandmen? 
They said unto him, He will miserably destroy those who can men. And we let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen. We shall render him the fruits of their seasons. Jesus said unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected the same is become the head of the cornerstone? This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruit thereof. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken, but on whom he shall fall, it will grind him to powder. And when the chief priests and the Pharisees had heard his parables, they perceived that he spake of them. But when they sought to lay hands on him, they feared the multitude because they took him for a prophet. We'll be stopping at that. Uh, like I said, you we'll continue reading because up to chapter number 24, verse 51, this particular day was a very, very tense day, a day of confrontation and warnings concerning future events. And um, I believe that um, today will be a good time for us to think about some of the things that Jesus said about end time events, especially in right from Matthew chapter number 23 and 24. But um, today we just look at maybe this parable that Jesus gave uh, from verse number 28 where he said a man had two sons. And he said, look, go and do this. This guy said, I will not. Later, he went and did it. He came to the other son. That one said, I will. And did not do it. He said, which one did the will of the father? I think this gives us an opportunity to review ourselves in respect of divine assignments. How many times have we told the Lord, I will? And we never did. There are many others who will be looking at who we are looking at them and say, Ah, I knew this man's history. He had uh, refused this, he had refused that, but where are we today? So it's very important that we look at where we are today in respect of the things God has asked us to do. Let's not be historical. Let us look at the things today. Are there things that God had asked us to do and we have not done? We will be putting ourselves in the path of divine wrath if we decide to not do the things that we have promised God to do. And this tells the attitude many of us are to leadership. Many times we do a lot of things based on eye service. Oh, pastor, don't worry, I will do it. Oh, my leader, don't worry, I will do it. But once there are no more there, we do not do it. Today God is calling our attention to that dimension. And he also said very clearly about the danger of people not getting to believe in the Son of God. And this is a danger to us first and then a danger to all our family and our friends and we need to bring to their attention that there are consequences for refusing to agree to believe and accept the Lord Jesus Christ. He said in verse 41, in fact verse 40, When the Lord therefore of the vineyard cometh, what will he do to this husband man? And they answer very correctly. He said he will miserably dis 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 destroy this wicked man. Miserably destroy. Many people say God is God of mercy. But he will run out of patience when he returns. 
and we have not surrendered to the one he sent to, to die for us. I pray that today we will carry the message to everyone around us and if you are hearing me, it's a good day to surrender to the Lord Jesus Christ though you do not know when he will come. And for the rest of us, let us use this period to meditate very deeply on some of the warnings he gave concerning the end of the times on this particular day, 2,000 years ago. And know that it is nearer now than ever before. And the Lord bless you. Let us say a word of prayer. Father, we want to thank you once again for the privilege to be able to share the word today. I ask you in the mighty name of Jesus that you will help us to review our lives. The things we have left undone that we ought to do, which we have promised you, help us to do it so that we don't suffer consequences. Help us, O oh God, if there be any who has not surrendered to Jesus, to do so. And all the things as we review what you spoke in verse chapters 23, 24 of the book of Matthew concerning the end of the age, help us to become very careful and to begin to know that the things we are seeing are very obvious that the end is near. Bless all your children today. Let today be a very, very joyful and fruitful day. Let them have peace. Let them be secured. In Jesus' name. Amen. Presence of my King.